Thank you, Deputy Jones. On the case of People versus Conrad Robert Murray, Dr. Murray is present in court with counsel, Mr. Chernoff, Mr. Flanagan, Mr. Gorgian, Mr. Pena, the People by counsel, Mr. Walgren and Ms. Brazil, all 12 jurors and the five alternates are present. Good morning. Good morning. When we left yesterday, the skies were clear. Uh, hopefully you uh, didn't have any traffic-related problems yesterday or this morning. So a welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you for your promptness and welcome everybody else. We're going to resume. Uh, may we have Ms. Fleek retake the stand, please? Good morning. Good morning. You recognize and acknowledge you are still under oath and still sworn to tell the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Resumption of direct examination by Mr. Walgren. Thank you, Honor. May I just have one moment? You may. Thank you. Your Honor. Please take the moment. Thank you. Ms. Fleek, I want to follow up in a couple areas uh, that we discussed yesterday. Uh, and I have a, a couple additional photographs I'd like to show you. Um, in regard to the uh, hanging IV bag uh, with the syringe in the port that you had initially booked as um, medical evidence, coroner's medical evidence number two, I want to show you two photographs regarding that item. Uh, may those be marked people's 162 and 163, respectively, Your Honor? Yes. Showing you people's 162. Uh, is this the saline bag uh, as well as the tubing that you described yesterday regarding coroner's evidence number two? Yes, it is. Okay. And in this photograph, zooming in at the lower portion of this photograph. Does that depict the syringe uh, with the depressed plunger uh, as it was found 
near this uh, Y connector in the tubing of the infusion set? Yes. Okay. And looking at people's 163, a close-up of that same vantage point. Again, does this show the syringe uh, hang, essentially hanging upside down with the needle insu inserted into the port uh, of that infusion set? Yes. And is that how it was when you found it? Yes, it was. Okay. On the bed where the decedent was located, uh, did you locate and photograph a Bose radio CD player? Yes, I did. Okay. It was not medical equipment, correct? No. Okay. Correct. That is correct? That is correct. It was not medical equipment. Your Honor, I have a photograph of a Bose radio CD player with a CD lying on the bed next to it. May this be marked People's 164 for identification? Yes. Is this the Bose CD radio player that was uh, photographed uh, laying on the bed where the decedent uh, died? Yes, it is. And zooming in, uh, you see an actual CD next to it? Correct. As well as um, the label Bose, uh, and you see the word CD there? Yes. Okay. Now, on this, uh, the initial date when you arrived at the scene on June 25th, 2009, did you also go into the bathroom? Uh, and if you recall the diagram, People's 19, if you're looking at the bedroom and on the diagram you go to the right where's the closet and then further to the right on the diagram is the bathroom. Do you know to which bathroom I'm referring? Yes, I do. Okay. And did you go into that bathroom and, and photograph the general area as it appeared on June 25th, 2009? There were overalls taken, yes. Yes. Overall okay. photographs. And was there clothing on the floor in that bathroom that you photographed? Yes, there was. Okay. I have two photographs of the, uh, <clears throat> appears to be a black bomber type jacket with an orange lining and uh, possibly black pants. May these be marked people's 165 and 166 respectively, Your Honor? Yes. showing you is that the clothing that you photographed on the bathroom floor yes it is okay specifically uh, this uh, black article of clothing uh, that I'm pointing to here to the left of what appears to be a jacket with an orange lining yes and showing you people's 166. Uh, again, is that the same view looking into the bathroom from the closet area showing the same clothing on the floor? Yes, it is. Okay. Have one moment, Your Honor. Oh, sure.
actually showing you what yesterday was marked, People's Exhibit 117, uh, which depicts what is now marked, uh, depicts the syringe, which is now marked People's 118. Uh, you testified that that's the condition you found it in. Uh, again, seated on the glass table and no needle attached. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And you additionally had observed and collected an IV catheter under the AMBU bag as depicted in 119. Is that accurate? Yes. And that actual IV catheter uh, was marked as evidence people's 120 yesterday. Now I have a, a, a question about these two items. Did you initially book uh, both the syringe depicted in 117 and the IV catheter depicted in 119. Did you characterize those collectively as a broken syringe? Yes, that's how I initially described them in my report. Okay. Were they ever, uh, to your personal knowledge, were they ever attached in any way? No, they weren't. I shouldn't have de described them as a broken syringe. I should have described it as a depressed plunger on the table and an IV catheter on the ground. Okay. Was there anything broken or defective about either item? No. That's, I just mis-described um, it when I first wrote the report. Okay. And subsequently, have you viewed both items uh, and observed that People's 117, as recovered, has a a circular uh, tip at the end for yeah. purposes of attachment? Yes. Okay. And did you also further observe and conclude that uh, the IV catheter shown in People's 119 actually has a, a square or rectangular uh, tip for purposes of attachment? Yes. Later on, after I had written my first report, um, I actually manipulated was able to see them manipulated and put together and they don't belong together. Okay. It's just at the scene I did not try to put them together. Okay. I just described it as two, as a broken syringe. So that was just an assumption you made? Yeah. Okay, but not accurate? Correct. Okay. And when you observed them on a subsequent day, you were able to conclude that as recovered, uh, they don't even fit together? Right. Okay. And the, this, the syringe, again, as reflected in People's 117, which depicts uh, People's 118. Um, are you aware uh, that your thumbprint uh, was actually located on the syringe, and the, the thumbprint was located on the syringe and actually matched to your thumb? Yes, I found that out later. Okay. And uh, do you have any idea how it is that uh, you left your thumbprint on that syringe? I don't know when that happens. I typically wear gloves. Uh, I always wear gloves at, at crime scenes and when I'm collecting evidence. But at some point, either in the moving of the table to take additional photographs or possibly in the repackaging of the evidence, I must have... Uh, touch that without a glove. Okay, when you say moving of the table,